The Bible is filled with stories of God sending his special messengers, called prophets, to cities filled with wicked people, warning them to change their ways or be punished for their sins. Of all the cities that received these warnings, Nineveh was one of the worst. So when the Lord called on Jonah to go to Nineveh and preach to the people there, he was terrified. Jonah was so scared that he decided to travel in the opposite direction of Nineveh. He went down to the port city of Joppa, where he found a ship leaving for Tarshish. He bought a ticket and went on board, hoping that Tarshish would be far enough away that he could escape from the Lord and his mission. While out to sea, the Lord sent a powerful wind, causing a violent storm that threatened to sink the ship. Fearing for their lives, the desperate sailors begged their gods for help and threw the cargo overboard to help make the ship lighter and stay afloat. But below the ship's deck, Jonah slept peacefully until the captain found him. How can you at a time like this? The captain shouted. Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will pay attention and save our lives. The ship's crew wanted to know who had offended the gods, causing this terrible storm. So they cast lots. The lots revealed that Jonah was at fault. The crew demanded to know what Jonah had done to put them all in danger. Who are you? What is your line of work? What country are you from? What is your nationality? They asked. Jonah answered, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land. Now, Jonah had already told the sailors that the purpose for his trip was to run away from the Lord. So when they found out who Jonah's God was, the sailors were terrified. What have you done? They asked Jonah. As the storm continued to get worse, they asked Jonah what they could do to him to bring an end to the storm. Jonah replied, Throw me into the sea, and it will become calm again. I know that this terrible storm is all my fault. They didn't want to throw him overboard, fearing that Jonah may not survive, so they rowed even harder to get the ship to the land but the stormy sea was too violent for them, and they couldn't make it. Desperate for help, they cried out to the Lord, Jonah's God. O oh Lord, they pleaded, don't make us die for this man's sin, and don't hold us responsible for his death. O oh Lord, you have sent this storm upon him for your own good reasons. Out of options to save everyone else aboard the ship, the sailors picked up Jonah and threw him into the raging sea. And just like that, the wind stopped and the sea became calm. The sailors were amazed by the Lord's great power and they offered him a sacrifice and promised to serve him. Jonah didn't stay floating around in the calm sea for long. Suddenly, a huge fish that the Lord had sent came up from under him and swallowed Jonah whole. Jonah lived in the belly of this massive fish for three days and three nights. <laughs>